Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 1st of 2023. Well, it is titled Carina Nebula North. So what do we see here? Well, here we see just a portion of the Carina Nebula. Now, this is a prominent nebula visible in the southern hemisphere. So it might not get noticed as much as the Orion Nebula, which is visible worldwide. Uh, but it is also a much larger, many times larger than the Orion Nebula that we also often see images of. This is an example of a star forming region and we see a couple of different nebulae here and let's label these and what we see is that we have the a couple the Gabriella Mistral Nebula off towards the lower left hand side and the Loden 153 Nebula to the upper right hand side. Now this is these are examples of emission nebulae uh, that we see. And we also within the Gabriella Mistral Nebula see a very small cluster of stars that is in the process of formation. This is a small open cluster of stars. Now we see two star clusters here. One is within that nebula. The other is a little bit above the center of the image and that is known as NGC 3293. These are both open star clusters, meaning that they are not gravitationally bound together. And while we'll see them together for quite a long time, many millions and even tens of millions of years, they will eventually spread out and disperse out into space. There is not enough mass within these clusters to hold this cl the cluster together. So the stars will just slowly disperse over time, becoming just random stars within our galaxy. However, open clusters such as these such as these are very prominent because they still have the hottest and brightest stars that dominate them. By the time the clusters disperse, these stars will have gone through their lives and will have died. So those very bright, prominent, very hot stars are still present in these very young star clusters. As I said, these are emission nebulae and emission nebulae are seen uh, as the energy energization of gases in space, primarily hydrogen gas. But when we have gases surrounding very hot stars, their ultraviolet radiation will strip off electrons. And as those electrons recombine, they will give off specific wavelengths of light. And it's just those specific wavelengths that are emitted, giving these the name of an emission mission nebula. Now one thing we don't quite see here which would be off to the lower right is the doomed star known as Eta Carinae and that is a star that is expected to go supernova sometime in the next couple million years or so. We don't know when it could be years a couple years it could be thousands or it could be a million years from now and we simply do not know because we have no way to look into the interior of the star to see exactly what state its core is in. It could be just at that edge about to push it over to become a supernova, or it could still have a long ways to go to actually get there. So that was our picture of the day for May 1st of 2023. It was titled Carina Nebula North. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be unusually flat Mars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.